Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with some Mega Man X2. Last time we beat off the final three of the hidden sub bosses, and today we're gonna go do some science. D Mike, it's time to cook. We're headed to the Crystal Snail, the Energen Crystal stage. If you like cooking, the normal kind, you could like this video, comment, and subscribe. Help the channel out. Help me help you viewers, all right? Also, with his mustache, or like his weird little dangly bits from his face, it kind of looked like it was yelling like, Aah! I'm like a, sl a slug with a shell. What is the difference between snails and slugs? Are they the same thing, basically? One of them's just like the evolved form. Kind of makes me think of like Slugma Magcargo from the Ruby and Sapphires. So this stage is kind of neat. It has kind of uh, the musical vibe of it and the you know aesthetics, which is, you know, I don't know how they did the, the pixel art's really nice. It looks like they're very shiny crystals and all that stuff. Oh boy, almost died. Yeah, those giant green things will kill you as all good things in life will. Yeah, this kind of gives me the vibe of Donkey Kong Country when you're doing the one stage with the up up down ropes. Yeah, and everything's kind of purple and blue. Kind of has that vibe. Also, there's probably a secret up there. Can't get to it. Awesome. Fun. So instead, we will carry on. I don't know if there's a way to break these by themselves. I wonder if it's a thing where you need whatever this boss's ooh, weakness is to get it. I would almost have to assume that that's what it is. But this level is very stingy with... Health power-ups. Who is this a boss? Ooh, look at this. A little thing flying around it. It's got a little buddy. Whoa! You know what this makes me think of? Seeing this little guy? This is very alarming. Anybody ever play Fantasy Star Online? Like the second one? Which is funny that they called it that because there wasn't really much of an online component for it. I know that the original game came out on the Dreamcast, which I did have a Dreamcast, didn't have that game at any point. But I did buy it on the GameCube when some friends had it, and they would graciously let me play it occasionally. So, GameCube didn't really have online components. I know that it it had, like, local LAN capabilities, I think. L local area. Local LAN is kind of a stupid thing to say. I just said local, local area network. ATM, PIN number. All those things are repetitious. But yeah, that's kind of what it reminded me of, is like you would have the little, the little beep boop buddy following you around. Could collect power-ups for you and do some damages and stuff. I don't remember what those were called. Little avatar things. They were fun. That was a very strange game. Alright, so I feel like we've got a pretty good amount of our magnet mine back. That is the... Might have all of it now. Yeah, that's the soup du jour of weaknesses for the crystal snail. My notes say, boss is a butt, so it's probably going to be a pain in my shell. Go to shell. <laughs> I don't have any other shell puns. All right, here we go. Let's go down here. This looks very suspicious. And whoop. Okay, great. I'm trying to die in the process. You know what? I'm going to need you to stop. I'd almost have to assume this is a power-up. Yep, there it is. What's up, Dr. Light? What's hanging? Oops. Mega Man X, jump in this capsule. Don't tell me what to do. This performance enhancing capsule will modify your radar options and make you ineligible for the season. Use some energy, but with it, you'll be able to see objects that you could not see before. All right, so this is basically giving us schizophrenia. Uncool. Is this being run by the government? For anybody who actually does deal with schizophrenia, I apologize. That is a horrible mental disorder to have to deal with. But this is the helmet upgrade. And it allows you to see bonuses, I guess. I don't know how often you need to use it. Oops. I'm still using it. I don't need to anymore. How about some bubbles? Alright, so the bubble splash is very ineffective of, of an item. How about the silk shot? Boom. I'm just trying to get my health back. 
I've been subjected to debilitating diseases and I would just want to get some health back. How about you guys? No! Infinite amount of bats, but apparently the game is so stingy and giving me the chance to get some health recovery. You know. We'll see how this episode goes. This boss, like I said, is probably going to be tough based on what my notes say. Which makes me think that I might just devote this episode to beating off this specific boss. These episodes are, you know, we're in the, the final stretch of this game. Or maybe like the second half if I do these episodes one boss per. And that's kind of how I was doing it. Where I would have... You know, one Maverick plus the bonus boss. Alright, this is done. I'm gonna skip this. Whoop! Screw you, and you. Yeah, that's all they're giving me. I mean, thanks, I guess, but also, no thanks. Alright, this is horrible. Uh, how about you? Can you help me out? Whee! Bats are only good for two things. Pooping and pandemics. And I guess neither of those th things. I mean, I guess the first thing is good. If you're into, like, certain types of adult beverages required the bat poops, which I've heard, according to my research, which is probably very inaccurate, that we are suffering shortages of said things, and that will render the beverage making processes uh, basically ineffective, like we won't be able to make them unless they'll have to come up with an alternative. All right, we need to get the heck out of here. Up there, down there. Whew, that was close. All right. Thankfully, we dodged the giant block of jello. I wonder if it's made out of like. Do you think Mountain Dew jello would be good, viewers? What do you think of that? I don't like this. I don't like you. I don't have very much health, so this upcoming fight's probably gonna be a disaster. Alright, hello. No, no, no! Whew! I was fully clenched just now. Yeah. I think I got like one health drop that entire time. I'm almost gonna probably just whiff on this first fight, just to see kind of what his moves are like. Because I honestly don't know. I imagine I'm going to use all of my lives doing this. Look how gooey the background is. Ugh. All right, so obviously he's a snail, so he's in this shell. He's feeling very introverted, a little antisocial. Ooh, he's got electricity coming out of his horns. Are those horns? How do I hit you? Okay, there we go. Whoa! Alright, so he's coming out of the gate. Already one of my worst enemies. My or my biggest nightmare shooting goo at me. Whoa! That did a ton of damage. That was two hits. I still had like a third of my health left. Alright, so... It's time to get serious. Let's get the magnet mine out. That is his weakness, I believe. I hope. Okay. Alright, so he's a bit he's been a bit of a baby. Can this Alright, so what does that do? Does it knock his shell off or something? Whoa! He's coming right for us. Alright, I would like you to Well I can shoot more than once, I didn't know that. Alright. So, clearly, after we shoot him with this shell... Whoa, okay. You can just kind of, like, nerf him a little bit. This seems like this This seems like this is going to be one of those fights that, uh... You just got to be patient with. Yeah. Because I don't think he's... He's not very formidable without that shell. Whoa, what is happening? No, I was trying to get, to get away from him before he did that. Hello. We're doing pretty well, though. I feel pretty confident. Whatever this strength... Get up. Get up. Get on up. Okay. I mean, that wasn't too bad. I feel pretty confident. Alright, sorry. I felt very unconfident. But we did it, I mean...
we got the what? The Crystal Hunter. All right, so there's my code thing. I think I do have the ability to get one item though while we're here. Now that we have the crystal, I don't even remember what that said. Um, I want to say it's, what do my notes say? It says the Morph Moth, where is that? Is this you? Yes, all right, so let's go back into here. We're gonna have to go into these areas anyway. So might as well make the most of it. Let's go ahead and get our little weird thing out. Okay, these things still creep me out. Do they creep anybody else out? Is that just me? With your weird little... Yeah, I don't, I don't care for it. I'm just gonna keep doing this over and over again. I don't know how else to really do it. Oops, didn't mean to do this. What are you compensating for, D-Mike? All right. So we have this. Oh, it's something up there. Oh, maybe I need to do, wait. Can I do this without, hold on. Can you, can you jump up and maybe I can like use, use a platform? Hello. Stop doing that. Stop throwing boomerangs. Whoop. Oh, I can almost get it. That has to be doable, right? I mean, it feels pretty good. Yes, viewers. I'm the best. I just came here exclusively for that. I guess I don't really have the I don't really have the ability to do much until I get that done. But you know, I guess that's cool. Can I exit this stage? How to get out of here? Yeah. I don't feel like there's anything else I can get yet until I get the two most important things in the game, which there's a Maverick we have to beat, which gives us a another upgrade. And then we can go into an old stage, which you need that upgrade to get basically every other cool thing in this game, which I feel is annoying that they lock it behind that. But if you start with that Maverick, then I guess it makes a lot more sense and the ordering of it will be easier. So you got that going for you, but that's all the time that we have for today. A little bit of a shorter episode, but that's okay. If you enjoyed this episode, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, check out the YouTube shorts, and I'll see you next time for more. Bye.